The Montana Army National Guard is a component of the United States Army and the United States National Guard. Nationwide, the Army National Guard comprises approximately one half of the U.S. Army's available combat forces and approximately one third of its support organization. National coordination of various state National Guard units are maintained through the National Guard Bureau. Montana Army National Guard units are trained and equipped as part of the United States Army. The same ranks and insignia are used, and National Guardsmen are eligible to receive all United States military awards. The Montana Guard also bestows a number of state awards for local services rendered in or to the state of Montana. The Montana Army National Guard maintains facilities in 28 communities. History The Montana Army National Guard was originally formed in 1867. The 163d Infantry dates its history to independent companies grouped together around 1900. The Militia Act of 1903 organized the various state militias into the present National Guard system. The 163rd Infantry Regiment of the Montana Guard formed part of the 41st Infantry Division, which fought through the Pacific during World War II. The regiment was inducted into the regular army in September 1940, and were sent to Camp Murray at Fort Lewis, Washington. They participated in large-scale military exercises in California in 1941. On December 7, 1941 small units were detailed to guard the Washington coastline from Japanese saboteurs. In March 1942 they were sent to Australia. Their engagements included the Battle of Buna Gona, the Salamaua LAE Campaign, Operations Reckless and Persecution and the Battle of Biak, as well as the liberation of the Philippines. In September 1945 the regiment went ashore at Hiro, Japan as part of the occupation of that country. By this time most of the original Montanan troops had been discharged. The Montana ARNG maintained the 163rd Armored Cavalry Regiment whose roots date back to 1884, at least until 1988. In 1985 its units included the 1 163rd Cavalry, the 2 163rds Cavalry, the 3 163rds Cavalry based in Texas, an air troop, an attack helicopter troop based in Utah, and the 1063rd Engineer Company. The MTARNG maintained the 163rd Armored Brigade at least until 1995. It appears that on the disbandment of the 163rd Armored Brigade, the 1-163 Battalion was reassigned to the 116th Cavalry Brigade headquartered in Idaho, commonly referred to as the Grizz Battalion. The 1-163 Road at first was designated as a cavalry regiment in 1953, named the 163rd Cavalry Regiment. The unit was renamed the 1-163 Road Infantry Battalion during the 2006 reorganization of the Montana Army National Guard, and has been re-designated as cavalry once again, combining mechanized infantry with Abrams tank units. In April 2010, the 163rd Cavalry Regiment, formerly the 1-163 Infantry, received mobilization orders and prepared to deploy to the Middle East for the second time in five years. Units and formations 95th Troop Command 1st Battalion, 163rd Cavalry Regiment 1-190th Combat Service Support Battalion 1st General Support Aviation Battalion, 189th Aviation Regiment at Helena 495th Combat Sustainment Support Battalion 208th Regiment RTI 631st Chemical Company Recon Decon 83rd WMD Civil Support Team WMD CST 230th Vertical Engineering Company Topic <laughs> Duties National Guard units can be mobilized at any time by presidential order to supplement regular armed forces, and upon declaration of a state of emergency by the governor of the state in which they serve. Unlike Army Reserve members, National Guard members cannot be mobilized individually except through voluntary transfers and temporary duty assignments TDY, but only as part of their respective units. 
However, there has been a significant number of individual activations to support military operations 2001. The legality of this policy is a major issue within the National Guard. Topic: <laughs> Active duty call-ups. For much of the final decades of the 20th century, National Guard personnel typically served one weekend a month, two weeks a year with a portion working for the Guard in a full-time capacity. The current forces formation plans of the U.S. Army call for the typical National Guard unit or National Guardsman to serve one year of active duty for every three years of service. More specifically, current Department of Defense policy is that no Guardsman will be involuntarily activated for a total of more than 24 months cumulative in one six-year enlistment period this policy is due to change 1 August 2007. The new policy states that soldiers will be given 24 months between deployments of no more than 24 months. Individual states have differing policies. See also Mayhew Foster <laughs>